Hello, the topic that I am going to start is simple and compound interest. This is lesson one. Interest is a very practical topic. Whenever you visit a bank and deposit some money in a bank for a few years, the banks give you interest. Same way, if you take the loan from a bank, you have to pay the interest. Let's say for example, on 26th January 2015, you took a bank loan. You took a bank loan of rupees five thousand. You took a bank loan of rupees five thousand. After let's say one year, banker asked you to pay after one year. Let's one year would be twenty sixth January two thousand sixteen. You need to repay the bank amount. Let's say six thousand rupees because you have to you have to pay extra because you have. The, kept the money with yourself for one year now this 5000 is called as a principal principal means initial amount of money that you have taken loan this 6000 is the amount and interest is interest is rupees 1000 the difference between amount and the principal in a way i can see that amount is always equals to principal P plus interest as you need you, you paid the bank 6000 5000 was your principal and 1000 will be your interest other story could be suppose that you deposited deposited let's say you deposited rupees 5000 in state bank of india on 26th january 2012 26th january 2012 you deposited rupees 5000 in state bank of india the bank promises to pay you double the amount that is 10000 the bank promises to pay you double the amount in let's say 6 years 26th 1 2018 the bankers SBI will pay you rupees 10,000 this is double the principal you invested in this case also principal that is P P is the principal is 5,000 rupees amount you are getting is double that is 10,000 10, now what would be the interest in this case interest would be amount minus principal that is 5,000 so your principal was 5000 you got the interest as 5000 this is the practical way happen when you deposit the money in a bank and when you took the loan when you took loan you have to pay the interest when you deposit the money in a bank the banks give you the interest interest how to calculate the interest interest for any period of time p o t interest for any period of time POT stands for period of time is equals to R percent of P P is the principal R is the rate of interest rate of interest will also be for that period of time and principal will also be for that period of time it's a very important concept interest any kind of interest whether it's a simple interest or compound interest is always calculated as R percent of P where R is the rate of interest for that period of time POT and principle will also for the, that particular period of time as I told you that interest whether it's a compound or simple interest are of two type one is called as simple interest simple interest we can short form is SI as I stand for simple interest other is compound interest compound interest that is CI so I will discuss one by one first I will discuss the simple interest simple interest whenever interest for any period of time any period of time is calculated on the same initial principle it is called as simple interest for example let's take one side I will solve the 
वेरिएबल पार्ट अदर साइड आई विल सोल्व द प्रैक्टिकल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आई एम एज्यूमिंग रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आर ओ आई स्टैंड फॉर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दिस इज लेट से आर परसेंट पर एन एम आर परसेंट पर एन एम दिस इज पर एन एम एनुअली पर एन एम स्टैंड फॉर एनुअली एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज आर परसेंट नाउ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर वुड बी एज्यूम दैट प्रिंसिपल इज पी प्रिंसिपल इज पी पी रुपीज पी रुपीज इज योर प्रिंसिपल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज आर परसेंट पर एन एम सो सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर वुड बी एज आई टोल्ड यू इंटरेस्ट इज आर परसेंट ऑफ पी सो आर परसेंट इज एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बिकॉज वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग फॉर वन ईयर आर परसेंट ऑफ पी दैट विल बी माई सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर सेकेंड ईयर नाउ वट इज द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर एन ईयर इज आर परसेंट दिस एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ऑफ पी वाई पी बिकॉज सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन द सेम प्रिंसिपल एनी पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन द सेम प्रिंसिपल सो कैन ए सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑफ फिफ्थ ईयर फिफ्थ ईयर विल बी अगेन आर परसेंट ऑफ पी सो इन इन ए वे आई कैन सी दैट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज सेम एवरी ईयर सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज सेम एवरी ईयर बिकॉज योर एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आर परसेंट इज फिक्स दैट इज गिवन टू यू एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेट इन द सेम इनिशियल प्रिंसिपल सो सिंपल इंटरेस्ट विल बी सेम फॉर एवरी ईयर नो वट अबाउट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर सिक्स मंथस इफ आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर सिक्स मंथस नाउ अगेन द रेट विल चेंज दिस आर परसेंट इज द एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दिस आर परसेंट इज एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट मार्किंग दिस दिस आर परसेंट इज एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बट आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर सिक्स मंथस सो रेट विल बिकम हाफ दिस इज आर बाय टू परसेंट ऑफ पी प्रिंसिपल विल रिमेन सेम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट फॉर सिक्स मंथ योर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विल बिकम हाफ सो सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट सिक्स सिक्स मंथ इज आर बाय टू परसेंट ऑफ पी वट अबाउट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑफ थ्री मंथस नाउ थ्री मंथस इज वन फोर्थ एन ऑफ ईयर थ्री मंथस इज वन फोर्थ ऑफ एन ईयर यू नो दैट यूर एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज आर परसेंट सो रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर थ्री मंथस वुड बी आर बाय फोर सो आर बाय फोर परसेंट ऑफ पी वुड बी योर सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर थ्री मंथस वट अबाउट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑफ वन मंथ Your annual rate of interest is R percent. So monthly rate of interest will be R by twelve, twelfth part of your annual rate of interest percent of P. One month will be R percent of P. Now what if you need to calculate your, let's say, simple interest of five months. Simple interest of five months. As you know that simple interest of each month will be same. Whether it's a first month, second month, third month, because every time for every month, simple interest would be R by twelve percent of P. So can I say simple interest of five months would be equal to five times simple interest of one month? It's a very important concept. Whenever you cal calculate simple interest for five months, it will be equal to five times into simple interest of one month. And you know, simple interest of one month is five into R by twelve percent of What if you need to calculate simple interest of, let's say, eight years? Simple interest of eight years. As you know that simple interest is same every year. That is R percent of P. So can I say this is eight times simple interest of one year? This will give you simple interest of eight years. That is eight times R percent of P. Eight times R percent of P. Now I will give you the uh, numerical example with the same kind of variables. Uh, let's say, in this case, I am assuming that rate of interest, let's say, is twelve percent per annum. Twelve percent per annum. This is annual rate of interest, twelve percent. Your principal is, let's say, thousand rupees. Principal is 
thousand rupees. Now simple interest of first year. What will the simple interest of first year? That is R percent of P. That is twelve percent of thousand. That is one twenty because ten percent of thousand is hundred. Twelve percent will be one twenty. That will be simple interest of one year. Same way, second year will also be twelve percent of thousand one twenty. Third year also twelve percent of thousand one twenty. So in a way, you can say that your simple interest is same every year. Same every year. Now, what about simple interest of six months? Simple interest of six months. Your rate of interest will become half for six months. Twelve percent is your annual rate of interest. So six months rate of interest will be R by two. That is six percent of thousand. Six by percent of thousand. That is sixty. What is it? Three three months. R by four. Your annual rate of interest is twelve percent. So R by four would be three percent. So three percent of thousand. That is thirty. It means that for every three months. Your simple interest would be thirty for every three months. It is not just first three months. Every period of three months, your simple interest would be rupees thirty. What about monthly? It would be one percent because R is twelve. Twelve by one, one percent of thousand. That is ten rupees. It means that for every every month, every month your simple interest would be same. That is rupees ten. Every month your simple interest would be rupees ten. What if you need to calculate simple interest of five months? You know simple interest of one month. So simple interest of five month would be five into simple interest of one month. That is five into ten, fifty rupees. Because you know that for simple interest for every month is ten rupees. So five months will be five into ten, fifty. What about eight years? It is eight into simple interest of one year. That is eight into one year simple interest. We already calculated is one twenty. So it is nine sixty. So very important concept I explained to you how to calculate simple interest for different different periods. In this class I have discussed the basics of simple interest. In next class I will discuss the examples. Uh, what kind of question used to come in entrance exam for simple interest? Thank you.